At a NATO air base in Kandahar, southern Afghanistan, U.S. and Afghan aviators prepare for a training mission. Eight years into the Afghan war, Afghan troops and their U.S. advisors have settled into a sometimes tense relationship. The Americans try to advise the Afghans in Western methods of warfare, but the Afghans often have their own way of doing things, and that sometimes conflicts with U.S.-led efforts to forge a larger, more independent Afghan security force. I'd say the biggest lesson really is um, uh, being conservative, but also uh, thinking outside of the training that they have. Right now, they've all been trained kind of in the Russian style, in the sense that, you know, this is the way that you will do this, so, you know, you will always do it this way. But an independent Afghan military must be capable of adapting to an elusive enemy. U.S. Air Force officers say a language barrier impedes American efforts to impart this vital lesson. Lieutenant Colonel Percy Dunnigan oversees Afghan pilot training at Kandahar. So there's a lot of technical terms in aviation, and getting those translated properly and getting them across to them in a timely manner, especially when you're uh, in flight trying to do it, is a huge challenge. And it's, uh, I, I, I tried to learn a little bit of their language in order to take, take away some of that, uh, that stress and that, uh, the, the confusion. But uh, when, you're, when you're trying to deal with the more complicated processes and technical terms on the aircraft, flying terms, uh, there really is just no substitute for, for talking the same language. Fact issue, that's been resolved now. In, in Logar province, a U.S. Army battalion is paired with an Afghan battalion. The Americans mostly handle the complex missions. Afghan troops usually get simpler assignments, such as staffing road checkpoints. Staff Sergeant Donald Coleman visits an Afghan position to make sure the troops are doing their jobs. The Afghans complain of equipment and manpower shortages. I mean, it always goes well when we're here, but uh, it's when we leave it, you know. And I, and I, I kind of understand it. I mean, they, their com complaints or issues or, you know, uh, or concerns are definitely warranted. But, uh, you know, and, uh, you know, nothing, nothing in Afghanistan happens in, you know, in a day or as quick as it would in the U.S. A few miles away, more problems as American military police try to show the Afghans how to conduct vehicle searches on short notice. Seeming not to understand, the Afghans wave cars past the checkpoint without searching any of them. U.S. Army 2nd Lieutenant Gregory Avant abandons the first checkpoint and, after additional instruction, tells the police to start over fresh at another position. Uh, they're doing much better at this point right here than the last. Um, we think that they're starting to understand what the intent of the uh, checkpoint is all, is all about. For VOA News, this is David Axe in Logar and Kandahar provinces.